In the last video, we have discussed the projection of the point A by considering point A in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now, let's see exactly the projection of the point A by considering first quadrant only, but with respect to HP and VP. So, let's see projection of the point A, which is in first quadrant with different position that means different position with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane so say for example point a is above hp and in front of vp then point a is above hp and in vp and then at last point a is in hp and in front of vp so let's see one by one all these three different cases so first of all consider this case number one and draw the pictorial presentation. This drawing is only to understand this case. So don't draw the same thing in the examination. But you have to create the same imagination in your mind. So here this is the horizontal plane, this is the vertical plane and this is the reference line XY. Now here point A is above HP. So this is HP. So point A is above HP, here you can see this is the point A and in front of VP. So in front of VP, so let's say this is a point A which is above HP and in front of VP. So now if I want to draw the front view, then observer is here. And if I want to draw the top view, then observer is here. So let's start with the front view. So in case of front view, your projection must be on the VP. So I can write over here front view of the point A. And you know that that is denoted by A dash. So keep in mind that always on the vertical plane, the point is with dash. Now for the top view, it must be projected on this HP. And it is denoted by A. Now consider this case, point A is above HP and in VP, so it is really very interesting. So first consider this HP and VP, this is the XY reference line, now point A is above HP, but it is in VP, so here you can see it is in VP. Here you can see it is actually in front of VP, but in this case it is in VP. Now draw the projection, let's say it is point A for front view and for top view. This is the different position of the observer. For the top view, your projection is on the HP and so that you will see over here one point and that is denoted by A. And for the front view, the projection is on VP and that is denoted by A dash. Here it is A. Now consider case number 3. Point A is in HP and in front of VP. So here, Point A is in HP and in front of VP. Here you can see in front of VP. So now this is the position for the observer in case of front view and in case of top view. So if you see from the front view, then you will see a dash on this VP over here. And for the top view, you will see the A point over here on the HP. So this is actually the pictorial presentation, but in the examination you have to draw the 2D figure. So now we are going to see orthographic presentation of all about three cases one by one. So let's start with this case number one. This is actually the orthographic projection and that you have to draw in the examination. So very simple, first of all you have to draw the XY line and then location of the A dash and location of the A. And you know that horizontal plane is always rotating 90 degree in the clockwise direction and so that A point will be below XY line. So here you can see A point is below XY line. And here you can see A dash is above XY line. So here it is above XY line. So here you can see front view that means A dash is above XY line and top view that means A point is below XY line. Now can you imagine my dear friend what should be over here? What is the orthographic presentation for case number 2? 
means a dash is above xy line or below xy line yes absolutely right a dash is above xy line here you can see easily a dash is above xy line so here you can see a dash is above xy line and a point that is exactly on xy line so here you can see keep in mind that this a dash and a must be on the straight vertical line it, it should not be inclined line so here Front view is above xy line and top view is exactly on the xy line. Here you can see. Now can you imagine my dear friend what should be the orthographic presentation for this case number 3. Yes, very simple. A dash is on xy line. Here you can see. And you know that HP must be rotated in the clockwise direction with 90 degree. So that A point will move below xy line. And so that it is here. So in this case, you can say front view is on xy line and top view is below xy. So in the examination, this type of the description is given to you and you have to draw the projection of the point like this. So it is very simple. So now are you able to draw the same thing? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.